everyone I hope you're having an amazing day um, so today I'm going to talk about the third solar principle that's the Liskov substitution principle uh, in other words you can also call it as LSP principle right so what is an LSP principle so according to LSP principle or Liskov substitution principle an instance of a child class should be able to replace an instance of a base class or a parent class without having uh, any implication, right? So, let me show you what I mean by that, right? So before I jump into hands-on and, and show you what exactly I meant by LSP principle in real life scenario, you need to have an org uh, so that you can do hands-on by yourself. Uh, you can very well uh, try this using any programming languages you want. You can use uh, C Sharp, you can use Java, uh, you can use Smalltalk if you want. Uh, but since it's about Salesforce, so I'm going to talk about using Apex, right? So I've logged into uh, to my org. It's a free org. You can always sign in for a free org. And I I go into uh, Developer Console by going to uh, the, uh, this Gearcog icon and Developer Console. Uh, by all means, you can also use Visual Studio Code, which is easier to use. But for this demonstration, demonstration, sorry, uh, I'm going to use... Um, Developer console, right? So I've already created a, a a dummy example just to give you an indication. So what I've done, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna use a very 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 basic example and nothing fancy here, right? So I've created a, a very uh, ba virtual class called Chicken, right? You can you can use Turkey, you can use whatever you want, but just to give you context, so Chicken can't fly, you know, they 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 can't fly. Uh, I mean here and there they can, but in general when you talk about flying, right, like a normal bird, right? So I've created this uh, a very uh, normal uh, base class called chicken, and then there's another uh, class called Tui. Tui is a bird which is common to New Zealand, right? So I say Tui extends chicken. You might think this is a very very you know crazy example, but you might at times see the code, and you'll be surprised at the amount of craziness you can see in the code at times, right? So just an example, right? So you have a base class here, right, chicken, and and let's say you got a new requirement to uh, extend, uh, so to use Tui. So, you know, a cloud de developer, uh, you know, decides to uh, extend this chicken class, right, saying, fantastic, you know, you know, it has a flying property, so, but, but one thing, uh, forgot to uh, override uh, can fly. So we have this, this is a code what we got, right? <clears throat> and so when we go to uh, debug console and try to run this, so as a, as as you remember, LSP is about the instance of a child class should be able to uh, replace an instance of a base class, right, without having implication. Now in this scenario, um, you we can do something like this, right? <clears throat> so when you run this, right, so you will see a big potential problem here. So the number one problem. It says this the second if you look at the second statement, the second row, it returns false. That means Tui Tui can't fly, right? Which is not right. So that has broken the LSP principle, right? So now how to fix it? It's pretty straightforward to fix it. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna change this class a bit. Right, so we're gonna create a base class that's something called a bird class, right? So we so something like this, right? I'm gonna create an extra class and call the you know can fly and I can save it, right? Nice and easy, okay? Now I'm gonna change this to right, and then I'm gonna see extends uh, bird, and I'm gonna do override, okay? I'm gonna save it. <coughs> I'm gonna create a class just to save time, right? Excuse me, uh, I got a sore throat, so <clears throat> my apologies if I'm coughing in between. You know, it's supposed to be spring, nice weather, but you know, sometimes it rains and temperature goes down to five degrees at times, right? That's in New Zealand for you, but yeah. Okay, all right, so now Tui, so we don't want to extend it using uh, chicken, and so we're gonna use uh, bird, right? And you're gonna copy this, okay? And now we're gonna say, uh, can two fly? Absolutely, they can fly, 
right? <clears throat> so, uh, it's, gonna, it's saved, okay? Now, let's see how we can change this to a little bit different, right? Instead of this, you can put bird, right? And now, you can see the difference here, okay? Now, you tell me what happens, right? So, will it come false or will it come true for three? Let's find out. See? So, here, we have replaced an instance of a uh, parent's class with an instance of a child class and without having any implications, right? So, he can fly, she can come fly. So if you wanted to extend another uh, class in the future, you can do that as well. This is a very, very, very basic example. You can do complex stuff. You can use interfaces if you wanted to do it, right? I mean, I often use interfaces that, you know, just for abstraction purpose. Uh, so because I came from a uh, c -sharp background, so I tend to use interfaces whenever I, I have to, right? It's not a hard and fast rule that you should, but if you wanted to go for abstraction, then it's a good practice. So. Uh, I presume everyone knows what interface is all about in uh, Apex, right? So <clears throat> Apex is a pretty, pretty easy programming language compared to C-sharp. Uh, the libraries of Apex is not too huge, right? Like if you're coming from a .NET framework, you know, how big the, the library is, right? .NET library, you know, .NET Core is there. You know, if you, I mean, then we have old versions like .NET um, regular framework. So compared to that, Apex is pretty, uh, libraries is pretty compact, right? You have few stuff to worry about. It's pretty easy to learn, right? So yeah, and I haven't seen much design patterns being talked about in Apex. So so that's one of the reasons why I'm talking about um, these principles, right? Okay, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Uh, thank you very much for attending. Uh, greetings and adios from New Zealand. Take care. Bye-bye.